there. So today I want to talk about this idea that um, it's really important to get clear on what you're motivated by and you might not be motivated by making money. You might not be money motivated and that's not a problem. In fact, I know that when we realize that we're not money motivated, it actually releases us <laughs> into taking action and then we end up making money on the other side of it. It's one of those interesting paradox things in coaching, in lots of things actually, in life. So let me share a couple of things. First of all, it is not uncommon for me to work with coaches who desire clients getting paid, making money. Uh, coaching is not my hobby, it is my career. I also have an interest in working with clients and getting paid for my work and having my work be valued and all of those things. So I understand that. and. Um, when it comes to how I mentor and teach, I see all of these things as a result. These are a result of something else. These are not things that you do. So often I'll hear like, oh, how do I create a client today? I'm like, I don't know. What can we do? What are the practices that you need to say yes to, that you need to start taking action on in order to make, in order for these things to happen. For example, if you said to me, I want to, um, are you distracted by this little horse back here? I'm going to explain it in just a minute, but for the, mo let me try and block it. So you're not uh, distracted by my amazing illustration skills. Okay. Um, if you wanted to win a tennis match, if you said to me, I really want to win a tennis match, winning a tennis match is not something you do on Monday morning. On Monday, what you do to win a tennis match is you wake up and you start practicing tennis. You actually put on your sneakers and you go to the tennis courts and you start to play and practice. So to these things, if you right now feel incredibly attached to these results, I'm very curious, great, what are you practicing today? And these are the actions that I really love to help coaches move into. This is where I really like to help you get... Um, experimental and playful and start trying things out and practicing and talking to people, um, practicing, explaining your coaching, practicing coaching itself. Like this is my zone. I love that. And, and you also have to have a reason to want to do this. What is your reason for wanting to start practicing so that you can create clients and get paid? Now the read that brings me to this drawing here. Here's a court of course. Here's a cart and here's a horse. The horse is pulling the cart. Our, the cart is us. The cart is like, here I am in the cart. And I'm like, all right, let's go. I've attached my cart to this horse, which represents the action that I'm gonna take. What is the driving force behind your movement forward? And I think in the coaching industry, there is a of incredibly loud narrative around coaching and making money. Now, don't get me wrong. Wanting to make money is not a problem. Needing to make money is not a problem. I am very curious though about whether making money is what motivates you to get into action, to move into this place of practice. And what if it's some, and a way of knowing is to ask yourself, are you practicing? Are you saying, I need to make money. I need clients. I'm, I, I want to get paid. But you're just standing still. It's almost like, it's almost like that's not going to get you moving. I work with a coach. We've been in this conversation. This is what's inspired this video. And two things are happening. One, she keeps talking about how she wants to start getting paid and making money. And two, she's not as much in the action like the action she's taking doesn't reflect that burning thing I keep hearing in her. But it's not that she can't get things done. It's not that she doesn't take action in other parts of her life. She is committed. She shows up. She's willing to get uncomfortable. It's not that she doesn't know how to practice and to move into that place of learning and growth to result in something. So I said to her, I said, maybe you're just not money motivated. Maybe that's not the horse that pulls your cart. And it was like a light bulb went off. And she said, oh my gosh, that's it. I'm not motivated by money. And something incredible happened then because then we were able to say, cool, well, what is it that's, what are you motivated by? Why do you want to do this stuff? 
so that you can get that result eventually. And you will. You don't have to be motivated by money to get money. <laughs> there's a different, there's another force that can pull you into this space. And from that will emerge the thing that it is that you think was motivating you in the first place. It's a little bit mind bendy. I get it. I hope this is all making sense and these random little pictures that I've drawn are helping illustrate this. But I'm just curious what you hear in this. I, you know, from my own personal experience, I have never been money motivated. It is not what gets me going. It's a result of going. And it's not that I don't want to make money or that I would don't enjoy or need that piece of my life to be working out in a certain way. It's just that that's not why I get up and do it. It's a result. It's not a reason. And perhaps that could be true for you. And what could be possible if you attached your cart to a different horse? And the thing that you think is what's going to get you started is actually what you're going to end up with. But there's something else that could get you into motion. Maybe it's just a desire to help people. Maybe it's a desire to start experimenting and playing. Maybe it's a desire to move towards something that you don't know what's going to happen and find out what's going to happen. Maybe it's a desire to start testing things out or just to start doing the thing, but not knowing exactly what's going to show up on the other side of it. I don't know, but I'm curious what you hear in this. I would love your comments down below. If you are a member of Misfit to Maverick, let's continue that conversation in that space. And if you would like to be in a community where we're having these conversations all the time, feel free to check that out below as well. What do you think? All right, talk soon.